With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's solve the question asked. Azola is useful as biofertilizer in rice field, mainly by virtue of its. So the options are symbiosis with nostoc, ability to live in water, symbiosis with anabiana azola, uh, or akinites and heterocysts are formed or found. Azola is a very commonly used green manure in rice plants. And since it is rice fields, we can obviously find uh, more of water in it, right? So it will always be in a waterlogging condition such that as the rice fields will require more of water. Hence, uh, we could find this azola to be floating in water in general. So, it is how it is present, it is naturally present in the field. So, since azola is itself a floating uh, organism, uh, there won't be any problem when we use it as a green manure in rice fields. Okay. Then coming to uh, its why is it used, the properties. So it could uh, give out a high grow rate of the crop. So it could enhance the growth rate and it can also help in the nitrogen fixing uh, ability to the plant and most importantly, they help in scavenging the nutrients to the plant. From the soil and water. So here we saw the second point that is they help, they aid in the nitrogen fixing uh, function. So this function is given to azola by the symbiotic relationship with the cyanobacteria. And that cyanobacteria is called as the anabiana azola. So the name is itself says that the anabiana which is a cyanobacteria is closely associated with the azola and we could find this relationship very obviously in the rice fields. And uh, it is this cyanobacteria which, uh, which is nothing but the anobiana azola which will contain the structures called heterosis and the akinites. Um, wherein heterocyst is the structure which will help the organism to fix atmospheric nitrogen. So, hence the correct answer for this question would be that azola forms symbiosis with anabiana azola. This could be the very appropriate answer because because of this, the nitrogen fixation is taking place and only because of that, again, it gives the function of azola to be used as a biofertilizer. Biofertilizer is something which, could, which should ensure the nutrients to the plants, right? So that function could be given by uh, the azola as it has a symbiotic relationship with anabiana azola. Coming to the first option, symbiosis with nostoc. Okay, nostoc is again a cyanobacteria, but uh, it, is, it doesn't have, like anabiana belongs to the family of nostoc. Uh, hence, you can't say uh, nostoc would be the first option. Nostoc would be a very generalized answer. 
so we are uh, not including that so it's only option 3 and uh, yes option 2 now ability to live in water this is going to be the normal property of azula and option 4 akinates and heterosis these are found uh, these, these are found in the structure of anabiana and not in the azula so the only correct and appropriate answer would be option 3 for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today